What's up YouTube? This is Music City Driver. Um, Chris here. Just wanting to, um, I've been talking about Maestro a lot. I've posted, posted quite a few videos for it and I didn't think it would be fair for me to do that without me actually showing the app in action. Um, I'm sitting in an area which I hope is going to get pretty busy pretty soon. I'm online on both Lyft and I'm online on Uber and I also have Maestro running. So this is what the screen looks like just to show you that I do have it doesn't say if you did if you don't have a subscription it will show above this referral code which my referral code CS05033 that's where your, your referral code will be if you sign up for Maestro. Um, above that it will say it'll tell you how many rides free weekly rides you have remaining so <clears throat> you got settings here you got your profile your about all that kind of stuff anyway um, also up here is your button for active or sleep if you hit sleep it turns all your apps back off and if you hit active it turns them all back on handy this is the preference screen I'm talking about so the preference screen oh, and look there it is in action okay so I have my trips meter set for to ignore any surges for Uber X under two under two times surge because I drive an XL, so it doesn't make much sense for me to take a regular X. So as you can see, it ignored that. <clears throat> I could have tapped below that to override it, but at the top it said ignored for surge because that's the setting that it detected it did not meet. So I didn't put any other criteria in there. Um, I'm going to show you that right now. I may get another ping. We'll see. So, <clears throat> you have your app settings. You can select either Lyft or Uber as your primary app. To be completely honest, I'm not really sure what difference it makes. Um, it does set when the second app goes online, and I just have it on, on to just have both apps on immediately as soon as I turn it on. Then you have your request filters. So, on this screen, you can choose either Lyft and it will tell you your lift filters and as you can see it's got all all these lift line plus shuttle premier lux lux suv all that stuff i only have plus enabled and i've got plus enabled with no surge because i love plus rides they're pretty lucrative and regular lift i have set for a two the equivalent of what would be a two times two x um surge for uber um so that's the only ones that i have set is that the surge um, I'll probably set this to over 10 minutes on regular lift. Lift Plus, I generally am a little bit more lenient with those um, because they're more lucrative. So, um, so I've got the lift set for 10 minutes away. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and set Uber X for that as well. So here's Uber X, acceptable time to pick up. I'll put 10 minutes away on that as well. And it's already on a two time surge. I um, also have Select. And I have that set to no filtering out there, basically. I don't care about passenger rating as much, honestly. I've had some 4.3s that were really, really nice people. And some 4.6s from, you know, that were really, really nice people. Um, <clears throat> so, I don't have a problem with passenger. I can get along with anybody. So, um, And on XL, I have it set up for no surge on there, no passenger rating, no time to pick up on those. I'm a little bit more lenient on those as well. So... Those are basically what your preferences look like there. Once you set those up and you go through and figure out what you want to do, like I said, I do it for regular Uber X because I drive a vehicle that doesn't get as good of gas mileage as say a, a, a little Toyota Prius or something, you know? So I drive a Highlander, which is a, it's a six, six cylinder engine, um, four wheel drive SUV with a third row. Um, it does XL. I do I accept Lyft and Lyft Plus. I also accept Uber X, XL, and Select. I do have leather seats in here, so <clears throat> they let me run Select. So, like I said, the it makes most sense for me to run Lyft and Uber X only if it's at a surge because I just use too much gas to putter around town doing five dollar runs all night. I'm not trying to to sound elitist or anything. I just it's just bottom line economic sense. So. Um, I really, really love the way that this helps me because, for, for instance, that screen that you just saw where it showed that it didn't, it didn't meet my surge criteria. If that had met my surge criteria, it would have auto accepted that. Oh, here's another request. This is a VIP and it is not surged. 
Now, VIPs are not filtered. Um, it's, I, I would imagine probably because it is basically a special Uber X. Um, unfortunately, it looks like it knocked Maestro offline when I did that. I think it's probably because it knocked the Uber offline because I've missed three requests in a row. I actually missed two other Uber X, regular Uber X, non-surged at all, no surge at all. And I'm just not gonna accept those. Um, if you have the ability to already have your accounts split, if you are grandfathered into that, this may not be as helpful for you, but um, I actually do have a couple of splits on my accounts, um, but I still find it very helpful, even when I'm running just Excel or select only. Um, if I'm at a period of the night where I don't want to go 10 something minutes away, 10, 15 minutes away from a hot spot that I'm in, I'll set that that filter for a different you know time away or even for surges if i see it surging um the the deal with the uber excel though you really can't tell if it's surging unless you look through the passenger app so that's really the only oh, look here's another <clears throat> there's another uber x that it's ignoring because it is not surged um it's right over by me but like i said i'm not gonna take an x just yet unless i just unless I just get kind of desperate. So, um, well guys, like I said, I just wanted to kind of show the app in action, show that I do indeed subscribe to Maestro. Um, if you are interested in trying Maestro out, um, please look in the description below. There is a link to the website there and my referral code CS05033 is listed below in there as well in the description of the video. Um, like I said, you can download it and you can do the free trial mode where you basically get 10 free weekly rides. I know 10 free weekly rides is not a lot. Um, and I think I was I misspoke earlier in one of the um, videos that I did about Maestro. And I said it was $14 a month. I totally misspoke on that. So I do apologize for that. Um, I don't know what I was confusing that with. But Maestro is actually only, um, <clears throat> it's not $14 a month. It is like $10.95 a month, I believe. Um, for the monthly option and for the yearly option it's $99 basically a hundred bucks so anyway I highly recommend this app um, I usually don't push apps very hard I don't even push sign up for uber or lyft that hard either so I really like this app it's the real deal um, I enjoy using it I think it will be helpful for a lot of drivers it will actually also um, can boost, lead to a boost in your earnings because you're auto accepting things and you're just going from ride to ride to ride. You don't have to worry about touching your phone. You don't have to worry about messing with your phone, messing around or anything like that. So anyway, thank you guys for watching so much. It is Friday night here in Nashville. It's about 736. I am hopefully going to pick up here soon and start rolling for the night and I'm hoping I'll make some pretty good money tonight. It seems like it may be a little bit busy, but we'll see. Um, you guys, if you're out driving tonight, be safe.